Game cell consoles, not high def DVDs. Let's talk about this for a minute. Executing information on the side. This video was sponsored by a that left a comment on one of my videos about Adobe and really Studio 2. Windows hardware. Do I really like it? Hey guys, this is emix77 from web.mac.com slash Final Cut Studio School. Uh, and I was on another website and I come across another Mac basher, a PC fanboy, um, on the opposite end of the spectrum as myself. And he had a video highlighting a Mac error. And for the longest time I looked for how he'd done this because it had never happened to me. He had had comments posted saying, try this, try that, prepare your permissions and do this. And the whole time he maintained that Mac was a piece of shit and it was no good and it does this to him every time yet nobody could duplicate the problem well I finally come across and by the way I'm not going to mention the name of this user until he responds to this video but uh but anyway I searched and I searched and I searched and I searched we got enough moldy to one moldy toaster is enough we don't need another guy like this running around making lies about the Mac so I searched and I searched and I searched for what what the deal was and what his error was doing was his dock was freezing he would, he would bring the cursor down to the dock and it would magnify and it would freeze like that. The dock would just stop working. When he removed the cursor away, the dock would still stay magnified and you couldn't select any other app with the mouse cursor. It was just like it was locked. So I started doing digging and I found this little keyboard shortcut. Control F3. If you hit Control F3, you can activate the dock via the keyboard. Did you, you see the dock at the bottom of the screen now? But look, my... my um, pointer is completely independent of the dock. I'm up here now dragging my, uh, for instance, here's my hard drive. If I hit Control F3, it activates my dock, and as you can see, my icon, my mouse cursor is still up here on my hard drive icon. It doesn't need to be down here in the dock to activate it, and when I do bring the cursor down to the dock, it don't do a damn thing. It's like it's locked up, as you notice. But what you can do is if you use the left and right arrow keys, you can scroll through your applications in your dock just like you can use an alternate tab. Uh, it's a pretty good little keyboard shortcut. Instead of alternate tab through your applications, you can alternate tab sort of through your dock. Just hit func uh, Control F3 to activate the dock via the keyboard, then use your left and right arrows. If Control F3 don't work, hold the function key and hit Control F3. And it should work then. So. Uh, He's busted. He's owned. I can't wait to see what he has to say about this. Because as you can see, when I mouse over it, when I activate it via the shortcut, it don't work. The mouse has no effect on it. It's like it's locked. So he's busted. So uh, if you guys see this video, you know, tell him what's up. And if not, maybe you can use the little keyboard shortcut I just showed you. Because this really is handy to be able to just scroll through your dock like that. Sometimes it really is. So uh, you guys check it out. Tell me what you think. Um, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, my website or right here on YouTube. I'm always around and I have a Ustream too, so don't forget about my Ustream. Uh, if I can remember, I'll post the uh, Ustream link in the uh, description of the video. So I'll see you guys next time. OS 10.